In this video, we're going to show you how to remove the power cord on your dryer. So to remove the cord on your dryer, the first thing we want to do is get around to the back of the machine. Now in this model, they have a cover that has to be removed so that you can get at the connections for your cord. Now different manufacturers put their cords in different areas on the back of the dryer and mount in different ways. Now on this machine, it's over on the right hand side in the top. Your machine may be over to the left, maybe in the middle, or maybe down lower in the back frame. But typically they're on the back and you can find them just by following the cord, of course, where it attaches into the machine. Now a dryer typically will always have, if it's an electric model, it'll have a heavy cord like this and it'll have four wires, red, black, white, and either green or copper colored for the ground. So to remove your cord, you're going to want to remove that grounding screw. If you happen to have a gas dryer, it's going to have a regular cord like your coffee maker or your toaster. So I'm removing the screws on the terminal block that hold the wire in place. On other models, you may find they just have um, a push-in connector without this block in place and your red wire from your cord attaches to the red wire inside just by a push and pull type of connector. You'll just always want to make sure with those that you are matching up the proper color red to red, black to black, and white to white. So now that we have those wires free, we can now look at starting to remove the cord from the machine. And on this model, it has a twist lock. Basically, you're just going to take a hold of it, give it a rotation counterclockwise, and it should come out of the, uh, out of the keeper. Allows you to loosen the nut on the inside, and I'll slip it out so you can see what that looks like. So on the back of the dryer, your wires go through the cabinet, and there's a nut on the inside that threads onto your cord. So that's what you're unthreading from and that I would have had to have slipped off before I could pull it out of the machine. Other models don't mount quite like that. Some of them just basically push and snap into place. Others will have a metal clamp that go around it that attach it to the back of the frame. But depending on your model, you just go through whatever type of retainer they have that you'll loosen or remove in order to get your cord free. And that's how easy it is to remove the dryer cord from your dryer. 